What's up y'all? We are out here at the range again. Give y'all a little quick peek there. Out here at the range. Y'all familiar with that site I'm sure by now. Uh, out here doing some testing. I'm going to tell you what, it's hot as fire out here, but we're going to get it done anyway. We're going to try to do it without sweating our butts off too much. Uh, got a lot of testing of some different stuff I want to do. And uh, obviously I got a couple new tools I need to run out and check and make sure they run good. So the first one we're looking at here is a Taurus. And what we got here, got all our paperwork and junk. We got us another wheel gun here. Got a little sight protector on it. So what we're looking at here is a big boy this time. We're looking at the 608, the full size, 357 Taurus. And this bad boy, get that, that shadow out of the way. This bad boy is a eight shot, a full size, eight shot, 357 model 608. Got a four inch barrel. Uh, as you can see, stainless steel frame, barrel, uh, everything stainless steel on it. And like I said, bringing more fun to the party right there with eight rounds in that bad boy. So this ought to be fun, man. I couldn't, I couldn't resist this thing when I saw it in there. Eight rounds of 357. That's a potent little weapon right there for sure. So we're going to run some stuff through it. Um, what we got here today is uh, some full metal jacket, 357 Magnum Norma, 158 grain on that. And then we got a few different kinds of uh, 38 special we're going to run through. We got a couple of uh, 130 grain Federal Remington and then 132 grain PMC Bronze. So obviously the first thing we're going to do is just kind of group it up there at the steel out there. Uh, make sure it's functioning good, see where the sights are laying at, and then we'll set up a couple little more fun targets and get at it. So let me set y'all up and we'll see what she can do. All right, y'all, let's see what she can do. Got us eight rounds of the big boy caliber loaded up there, the 357 Magnum, 158 grain Norma, full metal jacket. Got eight rounds in it. Uh, we're just going to start out here at these silhouettes. Uh, y'all, y'all, most of y'all is probably familiar with my range by now. Uh, but if you're not, the middle one's right at 10 yards. Uh, looking at about 11 to 12 on that one, 12 to 13 on that one. We got a little 15 inch round that y'all probably can't see that's behind one of them, uh, posts there. I need to move that over, but a little 15, uh, yarder, uh, that's a 10 inch round, 15 yards, excuse me. Then uh, out there you see the three, we got the green silhouette. Those are 25 yards. So we got a green silhouette, two rounds out there at 25 yards. That's probably far as I'm gonna take it. So let's see what she'll do with the 357. See where she's hitting at. I'm gonna start out in single action on it. I was a little low, but that might have been me. There we go. Was that eight of them already? That was eight of them already, y'all. Fired all late. Pretty good groups on that. I can see it wants to poke. It wants that front sight to uh, sight ramp to be poking up just a little bit over the notch. So I'm good with that. As far as left and right, I think it's pretty dead on. Those were a little off center. That was all me. I'll be honest with you. I can tell I ain't used to this yet. Uh, no recoil on this thing hardly at all. Uh, if I didn't mention, this is a very heavy revolver. Uh, the first thing I almost I noticed when I picked it up, besides the eight rounds, was the heft on it. Very heavy revolver. Uh, it's also ported up here. Got a ported barrel. I don't know if I mentioned that either. So I'll be honest, the recoil on this thing is almost non-existent. You don't feel anything in your hand. This is a very sweet, smooth shooting revolver right here. Very nice. So let me get us loaded up with some 38 Special and see how those run through it. All right, this time we're working with 130 grain, 38 Special. Uh, there's Remingtons I had up there. So got eight rounds of 38 special loaded up i'm gonna stay on these front three but we're gonna rotate between them i may may reach out to that little 15 yarder down there i'm gonna stay in single action on this one also then we'll do some double action so let's see what the 38 special does oh yeah oh yeah oh yes sir dead on up, oh, pull that. There we go. There we go. 
That was it already. Eight of them gone, just like that. 38 special, run flawless. Man, that was perfect. Only pulled that one shot. That was all me, I'll be honest with you. But y'all can see out there, it's hitting right in the center, man. This thing is on. These sights are on really nice. And there was no recoil from that, none at all. This is a very, very sweet shooting revolver right here. The weight and the ported barrel on that takes every bit of recoil out of that. Very nice shooting revolver. All right, y'all, another cylinder of the same rounds, the Remington 130 grain 38 Special. Uh, this time we're going to run it in double action, see how that feels. I'll do a couple up close, and then we'll run it on out to the 25 yarder, see what's going on there. Now let's check out this old double action. Man, it's something just feels good about double action. That's a very good feel on that. I love that, man. Let's go on out to the 25. Let's see what we can get. I'm feeling a little confident. Ah, missed. There we go. There we go. There we go. Not bad at all. Put another couple up close here. Right on the money. Right on the money. Oh, that was it. That was eight already. Man, eight goes quick. Eight's a whole lot more than six or five or six, but eight still goes quick. I pulled that first one. That was me goofing off out there on the double action, but man, this thing really runs good. This thing feels good, super smooth, little to no recoil. This is really nice. So let me set us up a couple of little more fun targets and uh, put some 357 back in it. All right, y'all, I got us some two liter bottles set up there. I got six of them. Uh, we went back to the 357 Magnum. We didn't get this thing to run 38 special through it, so we went back to the big boys. 158 grain Norma, 357 Magnum full metal jacket. So let's see if we can take some of these bottles out. I think we'll do a mix of double and single action on it. So let's see what we can do, y'all. Pulled that. We just wounded that one. Whoop. Getting a little, trying to get in a hurry. Oh, was that all eight? That was all eight. We got to get a couple more and finish off that last one. All right, I had two, uh, two 38 specials left in that one box of Remington, so I figured I might as well finish them off. So 38 special for that last one. Here we go, y'all. Oh, just winged it. All right, got a couple more rounds. We got to finish him off. We can't leave him wounded like that. Let's see what we can do. There we go. That did the trick. One last round. All right, good stuff. Should be it. That was it. Good running revolver, man. I'm very happy with this thing. All right, y'all. There you have it. The Taurus Model 608 full-size 357 magnum revolver man i absolutely love this thing absolutely love this thing um i'll be honest right now as of right now this is the this is the best revolver i own right now this is my favorite revolver as far as the way this thing shoots absolutely smooth as butter the recoil is basically non-existent on this thing it looks to be really nice and accurate without touching the sight straight out of the box uh it feels good the trigger's good this is a very nice revolver i'm extremely happy with this purchase uh got to get her home and get her cleaned up she's got some she's got some battle marks on her from that from that car been coming out the uh coming out of the uh ports on the barrel there so we're gonna get her home and get her cleaned up y'all look forward to many more videos with this thing uh we got two calibers out of it so we can do some some really interesting gel testing on this thing and a lot of other fun stuff so definitely look forward to more videos from this absolutely love this revolver i can't say enough good on it so uh we got to get out of this heat i got to run find some shade i'm about to melt out here so uh if y'all enjoyed the video as always make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to see more stuff from me i got a bunch of stuff i'm doing today that's going to be uploaded within the next week so stay tuned for that stay tuned for more videos on this thing like i say i'm definitely going to be running this some more so make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep tracking so when i upload some stuff you can jump on it uh check my amazon affiliate storefront link down in the description it don't cost 
cost you a penny to go through that link if you're going to do your shopping on Amazon anyway, and we'll get a kickback from Amazon towards the channel uh, on anything you buy after you go through that link and do your shopping. So I appreciate that. Appreciate all my Range Gangs members for reaching down there and hitting that join button. Appreciate each and every one of y'all who likes, subscribes, watching my videos. Leave me some comments definitely down below. What do y'all think about this revolver? Do y'all have one? Is it something you've been looking at? Leave me some comments like what kind of tests you might want to see done out of as far as jail tests and all that jazz. I'll be glad to jump on it because I'm really going to enjoy this revolver for sure. So appreciate y'all again. Like I say, thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.